most exciting destination in all of northern Wisconsin. LCL Casino Lodge and Convention Center Hayward. LCL. Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Navy News Update. It's Friday, October 27th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for today from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. The state of Alaska has entered into a first-of-its-kind compact to let tribes and tribal organizations take over child welfare services in their communities. State officials say the new Alaska Tribal Child Welfare Compact signed at the 51st Annual Alaska Federation of Natives Convention in downtown Anchorage, is historic and unique in the United States. It aims to preserve Alaska Native culture by giving tribes and tribal organizations the ability to oversee local child welfare problems rather than social workers coming in from outside their communities. So far, 18 Alaska Native tribes or tribal organizations are part of the new compact and negotiations to add others will be done on an annual basis as more than 200 tribes and organizations watch, learn, and make decisions on how they want to handle child welfare services. The e-commerce retailer giant Amazon has received 238 proposals from metro areas across North America to locate its second headquarters. The retailer expects to employ about 50,000 workers at the second headquarters within 15 years. Included in those 238 proposals were two tribes in the state of Washington. The Spokane tribe submitted a 30-page proposal where it suggests locating the headquarters on 300 acres it owns on West Plains. The proposed site is adjacent to the tribe's $40 million casino project, which is under construction. The proposal also mentioned the Spokane tribe's efforts to develop renewable energy and its status as one of the 22 federally designated promised zones. Promise zones are located in rural, urban, and tribal communities with high poverty rates. The Tulalip tribes offered the second proposal from a Native American tribe in the state of Washington. They offered 400 acres in their Quilceda village north of Everett next to Puget Sound. The tribe suggests a campus with indoor-outdoor workspaces surrounded by natural forests to help Amazon employees escape cubicle fatigue. Twenty years ago, Miami University athletic teams abandoned the controversial Redskins nickname and logo at the urging of the Miami tribe. Now the university is adding a new heritage logo that embraces the culture of the same tribe. The new logo, which features the tribe's traditional ribbon work art, is part of an awareness platform to broaden the recognition and pride in the relationship between the two Miamas. It serves as a visual representation of the university's commitment to restore Miami culture and language plus a reminder of the university's roots. Ohio was part of the tribe's homeland until members were forced to surrender massive amounts of their land in 1795 under the Greenville Treaty. Miami University was built on part of that land in 1809, and the school was named after the tribe. The new Miami Heritage logo will be used on print and web-based materials and merchandise that either entity can distribute or sell. The designs and colors of the logo represent respect, history, responsibility, shared vision, and cooperation. In honor of the United States Air Force's past seven decades of service, Cherokee Nation Technology Solutions recently partnered with the Air Force Civil Engineer Center to honor its branch's contributions to civil engineering. The effort is part of a broader Air Force anniversary campaign to highlight multiple generations of airmen and their service to our country. Cherokee Nation Technology Solutions, a company within the consulting sector of the Cherokee Nation business, designed commemorative posters, artwork, and web pages highlighting significant eras in Air Force civil engineering history. A design competition to build a National Native American Veterans Memorial at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American Indian opens November 11th to students, architects, artists, and designers from around the world. A jury of American Indian and non-Indian artists, designers, scholars, and veterans will judge the submissions. The first stage will be an open call to submit designs. The jury will select up to five finalists to participate in the next stage. The second stage will require finalists to refine their designs. The jury will review the submissions and select a winner. The first stage of the design competition will run through January 9th. The Veterans Memorial is scheduled to open in 2020 
and will be located on the museum's ground on the National Mall. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.